Last time we talked about electrons arranging themselves in layers around the nucleus of an atom, but we didn't go into much more detail than that. Today we'll be talking about how the arrangement of electrons determines how and why bonding occurs. So the outermost shell is the shell we're concerned with, and that's called the valence shell. And with the valence shell, we want to follow the octet rule. And that states that in the valence shell, atoms need to have eight electrons. If they don't have eight electrons, they become very unstable. There are, of course, exceptions to that rule. Hydrogen and helium uh, are so small that they can't actually handle eight electrons. Uh, so they follow the duet rule. They want to have two electrons. Uh, boron is an unusual exception. It follows the sextet rule. meaning it only wants six electrons. Um, I won't go into detail as to why. So most atoms, unfortunately, have incomplete valence shells. So they're unstable on their own. This is why they bond. They can't exist on their own. Um, the number of valence electrons that is actually contributed by each atom is given by the group number. The group number on the periodic table. So just starting here, they, those give one electron. Those have two. We'll skip over the transition metals. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Those in this column right here have eight electrons already, so they are perfectly stable by themselves. They don't really do much of anything since they don't actually have to bond with one another. For example, argon here this is uh, one in that eighth column there. Um, you can see it has its eight electrons. Um, one thing to notice about these, um, here's chlorine with seven valence electrons and sodium with only one valence electron. The thing to notice is that all of the inner shells are completely full. Uh, shells always fill from the inside out. So if you downgrade a shell, then you're always going to have a full octet. Here's hydrogen and helium following their duet rule. That innermost shell is just too small to handle more than two electrons. <laughs> 